I'm building a bridge. Lord, give me a plan. He promised me he's going to hold my hand. I'm building it high and I'm building it low. I'm building a bridge. Lord, give me a plan. Pleasant morning, pleasant morning, bringing you greetings this morning from House of Esther Divine Ministries. Um, welcome back to our morning devotion. This, my name is Mother Angela, and I'm going to speak to you today on the prophet Nehemiah. Nehemiah was also known as the master builder, and the meaning of his name is Yahweh Comforts. This morning now, um, Nehemiah, one of his notable um, qualities was his trust and his faith in God. He, with his trust and his faith, he was able to accomplish rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. The, the walls, those walls were in ruins for over 100 years and Nehemiah and his people were able to accomplish rebuilding it in 52 days. Uh, this morning, um, because of Nehemiah's trust and his faith in God, he was not only able to rebuild the walls, but he was able to rebuild his people's faith and trust in God. He was able to bring them back to God in um in in, tr in truth in, and trust God enough. This morning, beloved, I will will um I am asking you this morning, I even asked myself the question, so um do you trust God? Do you trust him enough to know that he will protect you. Do you trust him enough to know that he will provide for you? This morning, uh, do, do we have the faith? This morning, Matthew 17, verse 20 and 21 tells us that if we have faith as a mustard seed, we'll be able to ask the mountain to move here and go there and it will move. This morning, beloved, how is your trust and your faith in God this morning? Um, I plead with you this morning. I encourage you this morning. If you have lost your faith in God, because sometimes in difficult times, we tend to lose our faith and our trust. If you have along the line lost your trust and your faith in God, if along the line you realize that you don't have any, you, you never had any at all, I will encourage you this morning to, to take a look at the book of Nehemiah and try to understand this morning and try this morning to use some of the tools that Nehemiah used to restore his people. He encouraged them to, to come to God in prayer. Prayer is the key. Encourage them to pray and ask God for forgiveness if for whatever if they have sinned against him, if they if they if they they didn't even understand that they sinned, and pray and come to God and trust Him, because of Nehemiah's trust and faith, can you imagine? I thought of it, rebuilding a wall, the wall a wall that he thought would 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 protect his people, but he also told it, taught them that not only the wall would protect them, but in God, their protection was guaranteed, not only physically, but spiritually, not only carnal, but spiritual, their, their, their protection and their, their, um, their, their provision would, would be, would be, would, God would provide. Beloved, this morning, I encourage you again. I, I plead with you again. Let us this morning, because if we could only understand the plans that God has for us, we would trust him with our whole heart and we would have faith and believe in him. This morning, God bless you. Thank you for listening. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you, if you like, please touch the like button. Leave a comment. 
we will we are glad to hear from you at any time whatever it is this morning may god this morning guide you if you within your going out and your coming in may he bless you i pray god this morning that your trust will be rebuilt in our savior our soon coming king in no other name but in jesus almighty name have a blessed day